Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name's Lumen and today, Monster Hunter World. This is a game about slaying monsters. Hunting them, specifically. You jump in, you hunt a monster, you defeat it, you take its parts, you craft weapons and armor from those parts, you get stronger, you go out, you hunt an even bigger monster, a badder monster, and you get even stronger by defeating that one. Rinse, repeat. I love this game. I've played a bunch of it myself. It is fantastic. And the character creation system, amazing. You guys are going to love it. If you'd like to do a deep dive and discover more about the game for yourself, there will be some links below. I will also urge you to check the timestamps out. Specifically, the randomization sections will offer you a decent look at what's possible on both male and female. So I somehow forgot all about the Palico creation and customization. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I managed it. But the Palico customization and creation is at the end of this video. So if you'd like to check that out, you can. I'm also including a little section after that that will highlight some of the characters that I made for the thumbnail. Just some extra cool stuff that you can make. I recommend having a look at that too. You can use the timestamps to jump between the different parts of this video as i've mentioned a bunch of times i do also have the iceborne expansion installed not that i think it makes much of a difference if any difference to the customization options but there you go carry on for now we're going to get started by customizing the male and then the female the randomization will be at the end of each of those sections uh, at the start here you get to change your background it's basically just the background of the character plus the lighting that you see it in. I recommend making your character and then having a look what it looks like in the different lighting. You know, if you make a character and you make it look a certain way, then suddenly the moon comes up, you are startled, you fall out of your damn chair uh, because there is a hideous amalgamation before you and you don't know who it is. You know, that's on you for not checking how your character looks in the different lighting because sometimes they look a little different. You know, you pick one thing... And it looks completely different in a different lighting. So, uh, yeah, just, just have a look. <laughs> well, that said, mail time. Let's go. Jumping in. Uh, starting here, you get some presets to choose between. These are pretty okay. They offer you sort of a wide range of, let's just say, everything that is available here. It's, it's tame compared to what you can do. But it does give you perhaps a good starting point. Much like the face templates, which we're going to look at next, will give you as well a nice starting point. Uh, you've basically got the clean cut guy here who is the back of the box dude. That's the monster hunter guy. You get some with longer hair here, a little scruffier. You get a few clean cut and younger looking ones. Uh, they basically cover all the ethnicities here as well. That's kind of nice. And you can sort of get an idea here of the kind of stuff you can do with the face. Because of the different expressions you see here. You know, the different, uh, let's just say nose and uh, <laughs> cheek and jaw sizes as well it's a decent sort of uh, display of what's possible and maybe slightly more feminine faces this is the randomized button we're going to revisit that a little bit later so stick around for that or use the timestamps for that uh, but for now and for the customization section here we're going to use the default preset it's good enough in terms of the faces when you do jump between these different ones it might not look like much is changing but I want to say to you that it's actually pretty impactful. Like, you know, you change in a lot. It's mostly the, you'll see it's mostly the jaw, the cheekbones, the cheeks themselves, and then a few other parts that change. But this does drastically sort of alter the way your character looks. And it's, it's going to have a big impact on, let's just say, how these other settings will be perceived. So, yeah, think long and hard about what you want to go with here. I'm going to go with the first one. It's a good starting point. He's got a decently chiseled jaw. Uh, there is enough jawline and chin to work with. The nose is fine. Everything looks good here. It's just a standard face. You know, we'll go with that one for now. It's all good. There are obviously many more options here that will allow you to customize the character. So worry not. Skin. Color presets that you can pick between. Sort of light to dark. Or you can just pick it on the little uh, slider here. It's sort of... All right, there's, there's, there's pretty decent tanned colors, there's pretty light pale colors, and then there are darkish colors. It's, it's good. Then you get to change your character's wrinkle volume and wrinkle setting. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it basically makes your character look older. And I think it's a, a, a decent system. Like, your, your character actually looks quite a lot older, even though it keeps the facial structure very much intact. And it's funny because, like, you know, when you actually age realistically generally it tends to 
affect other things like a little bit more than you would see in this like the ears might get bigger and longer the nose might get a little bit bigger the the jaw might sort of round out and soften a little bit it's like you know the, the, the sort of old age plays uh, uh, funny tricks on the face for for certain people but it in my opinion looks pretty good like like it's a it's a decent amount and you can obviously set here um the volume down and the uh and the wrinkles up and then you've got like some slightly less pronounced wrinkles but then if you set the volume up slowly you'll see how they sort of uh, become a little deeper and uh, and a little bit more visible it's actually it's very impressive to me the way it looks but yeah you can set the wrinkles next up the biggest one the hairstyle i love it dude now the game has like a i'm not going to say a modular system because it's not exactly that but it has a few hairstyles that have basically one or two choices on top of them i'm not sure why they're not just different hairstyles but it's like for instance on this one you can pick two different styles i i don't understand it myself on this one two different styles i don't know why they didn't just make them two separate styles <laughs> like it's it's just really weird to me i i realize they sort of group in similar styles uh, but it would have looked more impressive if they had just made it uh, all separate because they are basically separate let's be real here Lots of hairstyles in this game. And I love the hair system. I think it looks amazing. I think that they did a great job with the hair in this game. You also see that the color choices and stuff are quite nice. Very impactful. Very vibrant. I get it. I get the combinations that they're doing here. And it's kind of okay. Now I want to mention that I think there are one or two hairstyles here. That are DLC. Uh, but just know that they are not paid then i think that there are also one or two like this one for instance that's from like finishing the game or the main story or something like that uh, but but again not paid so you can like earn it all you can earn it all by just playing the game or claiming it on the steam store but i do i do think i remember one or two of them i do like that they sort of included the feminine styles and the masculine styles all together it's like it's just a hairstyle man come on Give us the hairstyles, please. What are you doing? <laughs> you know? I always think that these restrictions are ridiculous. Like, like there are certain certain situations where I'm okay with it. Where I think to myself, yeah, okay, I can see why that restriction was, was in place. Because it might be a, a like a cultural thing or, or something about heritage or something about like anything else. I don't know. But like when it comes to hairstyles, if they can fit on the dome, I don't see why you wouldn't just allow it. Just give people the hairstyles, man. Just give them all the hairstyles. These are fantastic. Again, like the texture work on the hair, the the like just right amount of hair physics that they've added is kind of nice. Uh, all of it looks really good. It's 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 cool. And again, when you change the colors, you will you will get a bit more out of it, as well. Kind of nice, long hair. Zoe de Chanel. <laughs> Shit. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But come on, it is her, right? <laughs> Speaking of Zoe Deschanel, let's look. There we go. <laughs> so, hair colors. Yeah, uh, you've got all the colors under the rainbow. So, there are presets here. I'm not even going to go through all of them because you do not need to see them. The idea is that you have full RGB. You can do anything you like. Like, anything you like. There's a, there's a full hue slider here with saturation and brightness. You set the brightness and the saturation up. And then you slide through here and yeah well i mean you've got any color you could possibly desire it's honestly magnificent okay i think it's fantastic i think that you in a game like this you you want you want it you want it to stand out and and like why not man oftentimes i say like oh yeah i get when it doesn't suit the world or it doesn't feel right no man this game is all about the cosmetics okay fashion hunter world you know and and being able to change your character's visual appearance to to match like basically your your chosen armor or whatever uh, is is a big deal it's a big deal so yeah i, I like the fact that you can do this uh, for now however i'm going to go for a slightly more basic color <laughs> but but just let it be known that you can change this right so your saturation your brightness uh, it, it all plays a quite a big part. You can pick any color you want here. You can even go like halfway, you know, on these. Uh, and you can sort of mix and match 
yeah, you can sort of mess with it and, and try in between colors, stuff like that. It's cool. It's cool. It's a great system. Really great. Uh, and in terms of hair styles, I'm going to pick the basic style again, just so that we can see the face when we uh, change all the different settings we're going to change now. So yes, save. Eyebrows. Lots of eyebrows. <laughs> there are lots of eyebrows. You change the eyebrows, then you change the brow type. Decent selection. This game is basically the gold standard in terms of preset pickers. It's like, you know, certain games do intense customization really well. Other games give you just the right amount of options. And I think that this one falls in that category and sort of excels at that. I feel like that's what, that's what Monster Hunter does well is they give you so many different options that you can make anything you want uh, with those options. They do give you some customization, like you can do some fine tuning and chiseling on the face, but it's not a huge amount. Uh, it is more, again, that the, the strength lies within the amount of different presets you can pick. So you change your brows type, you can change your brows uh, style, I guess, and then you can change the color. Full RGB once again. So we're going to leave it as it is, because... The guy looks fine for now. And then we're going to jump onto the eyes. Okay. So, eye type. Six pages of eye types. I kid you not. It's basically just a way to, again, sort of put a certain mood or, or, or feeling on your character. And you get to change it more. You'll see in just a moment. And, like, there's everything here. You know? There's everything. If you want to be baked... You can just do that if you want to be like uh, Steve Bushimi. Uh, they've got you covered. He's here. Uh, you can do anything. You can do anything. You can add some makeup to this as well to uh, sort of mix it up. If you want little pig eyes, you can do little pig eyes. If you want big bulgy eyes, you can do that too. Yeah, man. Game's got your back. Everything you could want here. Again, however, uh, you you get to customize it even further by, by changing the position. By changing how, how wide and, and narrow they are. And then by changing the eyelashes. The eyelash changes to me weren't all that impactful. Uh, they, they look nice. But like, you know, you need to add more to it. To, to actually have it like really stand out. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Eye color. You can change left and right separately or both. I was a big fan of this. I thought that it looked really nice when you push the brightness and saturation up. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to say that that's what I think all games should like have, basically. But I thought that it was kind of impressive just how bright the eyes looked. Especially when you zoom out. Like, you can still see, like, they really stand out, you know? Uh, it's nice. for Specifically for eye customization, it's nice. Now, I mean, you could be disappointed by the fact that there's no like iris customization there's no there's no fine tuning on on like extra bits oh but i can't have a sharinga dude yeah chill this is enough <laughs> it's okay it's all right uh, there are decent selection here you can choose any color under the damn rainbow uh, you should be happy with this uh, let's take i always like the look of like yellow eyes let's go with that but you can also go down here uh, and you can make them sort of black uh, this was always a favorite for me uh, or the white ones quite nice quite nice but but yeah Lots of choices with the eyes. Let's move on to the nose. This is a pretty important one right here. Uh, there are a lot of different noses. 25 in total, actually. Let's rotate a little bit. Big noses, small noses. Short noses, tall noses. Fat noses, thin noses. This one actually is quite impressive. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, you can, you can, again, just do everything. And then you can change, you'll see, you can change the position as well. You, you don't expect there to be 28 different noses, but, like, yeah, there's 28 different noses. Then you get to change the position as well. I don't know where the default is, but I feel like slowly but surely, slowly but surely, I'm turning this guy into something he shouldn't be. We'll see when we get to, uh, like, closer to the end. <laughs> Mouth. Here we go. Mouth. Once again, a lot of different choices. This, you will notice, it changes the mouth shape, the lips, the way the, the teeth are, are displayed. Like you can see sort of sometimes the, 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 the teeth are sort of visible, sometimes not. It even changes the chin a little bit and like the bottom of the jaw a little bit. It's a big choice. This is a big choice. 
the repercussions of the choice you make here, yeah, they will be felt. <laughs> Some of these options are better than the others. And then you get to change the position as well. Man, I love this character creator. It really is quite something. Okay, facial hair. Yes. Let's check it out. I call this one the... There you go. The Orlando Bloom. Or is that the Orlando Bloom? Actually, both of them are, are, are like a little bit the Orlando Bloom, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, the decent facial hair. I always like to sort of judge a character creation system by the way it handles hair on the face. And oftentimes, character creators actually just forego the option entirely. They just sort of you know, brush it aside. They like pretend that beards don't exist. And I don't have much respect for those. Yeah, I mean, I understand when you're making, like, a teenage character or, or something like that. Sure, you don't need facial hair there. But, like, uh, yeah, don't shy away from a good beard, man. Don't shy away from a good beard. I like that you actually have a choice here between a, a big beard that has what, what I guess you could call a, a, a flatter texture on it. And then you have one that has more of a, a sort of fine texture on it. Different styles, man. Different styles. There's the Ethiopian caterpillar. Get some sideburns. That actually looks fantastic. I like the sideburns. A slightly bigger sideburns. Messier. Even bigger sideburns. And then uh, this one. Sort of a crafted look. Let's go with... Sure, let's put some like... Let's put some scruff on the chin. Why not? Why not? This is me attempting to grow a beard. <laughs> you can change the color, as always. Uh, I'm not going to show you all the colors. You understand how it works. But I will show you what it looks like if you just sort of put the brighter colors on there. To be honest, I think it looks kind of horrific, <laughs> but but if you're going to go for like, uh, you know, hair color and you want to match the hair color, you can do it here. And and again, you can save palettes down here, sort of uh, make something in one of the others and then, and then import it here. Okay, now we're going to go to makeup. Makeup is a big section. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Uh, you have makeup one, two, and three, and they are going to basically provide you, you let, me, let me show you before like i'm not gonna try and explain it i'll show you <laughs> what i mean they're gonna give you basically the different slots to add and uh and sort of enhance okay so these you can see these are like uh, around the eyes it's not actually glowing it's just showing you where it is uh, right now but you have a lot of customization on each of them so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pick something slightly more impactful uh, these are just basically the styles that you can put around the eyes as you can see uh, but I'm going to pick something like the lipstick. Or I'll pick something like one of these these scars or something like that. Uh, and then I'll show you what the what the uh, the customization options on that look like. Uh, basically, you can change the position on all of it, right? You can change the size on all of it. You can put it wherever you want. Uh, it's it's kind of impressive in that way. Now there is no real rotation set in, so you're stuck with it in the way that it's presented, but. There are enough to give you what you're looking for, basically. I'm going to go through them all, and you'll see. And then we're going to pick one, and I'm going to show you the way the colors look. Like, they got proper face paint here. They got, like, tattoo-y styles here. They got this here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. I, I get the feeling that these have been sort of improved upon and added to over the the years. Like, there's there's new stuff here now. Like, for instance, this. I don't think this was here before. I don't remember seeing this one. Uh, and... I like that. I think there's a lot of cool stuff. So we're going to take something that's like... Let's take... Something that's like kind of visible. Let's take... This one's good to see the colors. Right? So... When you go to the color settings here... You get to change... Well... Everything. Once again. Saturation and brightness. And you get to pick whichever color you want. Let's take something like blue. And then you get to set glossy. Then you get to set metallic. Which is kind of sick, by the way. I, I really like it. This reminds me of Street Fighter, which we did recently. Street Fighter 6. Uh, you get to set the transparency. And then luminescence. Which is a dangerous setting, let me just say. Like... <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a character. That's 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 quite something. You, you can do that if you want. You can do that if you want. Because why not, you know? And I actually sort of have seen a few interesting uses for this right uh if you take white as an example and, and this is just again a little a little 
let's just say uh, <laughs> a trick with this character creator that I've seen being used over the over the years. If you take this and you select the eye ones, you can do something cool that basically ends up making you looking like you, you can sort of look like a uh, I'm not going to say like a, a celestial being, but like you can you can sort of look like 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 something else. <laughs> let's just say that. Let's pick white here. Um, saturation. Yes, yes, yes. Confirm. Let's pick this one. Now, how do I do it again? I'm going to change the color to... Why is it not working? I think I got the wrong one selected. Wait, let's just go to this one again so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, let's take this. Let's take the saturation up. Is it working? Oh, the transparency. There we go. Okay. So, basically... You want to make yourself look like that you take something like these eyes uh, you change the color quickly you put it on like the white one and then uh yeah well hey check I i've seen this being used multiple times already and and to great effect uh, you can do some really cool stuff with it now again if you do this and you switch between these different ones uh, you can do like lots of different stuff like you could have like celestial freckles which is kind of nice glowy celestial freckles you can have like cool uh, uh like scars it's like you were attacked by an angel and and they they cut your face with a blade of light or some nonsense like that yeah you can you can get creative with it <laughs> it's kind of cool there's a lot of cool stuff to do i actually kind of like that one as well uh, and you can also just go halfway right you can also just go halfway and you can set the transparency a little bit and make something pretty cool with it so yeah and then the way it works is you can do this you confirm then you can still if you'd like to uh, jump into makeup too and you can add some more so if i want to do the eyes in a different color i can i can add let's say red to the eyes and uh, i can i can boost this up it's going to be hard to see it but but you can make it work so let me see if i turn the other one down a little bit or well, let's take a different like let's take the freckles yeah you can see it's sort of been buried out by the white a little bit but you get the idea uh, there's some really cool combos you can do, uh, and with moving these things around and, and customizing them, you can do up to three different ones. Uh, you can make something nice, you know? You can make something nice. But there you go. That's the way it looks. I'm going to uh, take it off now, on both of them, and we're going to continue. Expression. Now, this right here is just to show you... I'm not sure if this is like how your character is going to look in the character selection screen. I don't think that's how it is. It's just to show you what your character could look like with different expressions on, right? So you, you're getting a preview of like just the faces your character can make in cutscenes and stuff like that. I think that's what it is. I don't know for sure if you can like confirm. Yeah, see, it doesn't save it. So it's just to see what your character could possibly look like, you know? I think it's nice. The fluidity of the face is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Then clothing, this is your undergarment. It's basically what you have on under your armor. Uh, you're going to spend most of your time in armor and, and like cosmetic outfits and stuff like that. But you can customize these. You can change the color on them. Uh, there's just any color under the damn rainbow once again. Uh, and you can see which parts change with it. And yeah, you just pick, pick what you like. Pick what you like. It's funny because like you're going to be picking armor here at the bottom as well. So it's like, it's, it's, I'm not going to say it's pointless because it, it is actually something you should customize because you would at some point maybe see your character in clothing. So why not? Uh, but you'll see the armor in just a moment as, as you can tell it's already here. Uh, now we're going to look at the voices. There's a bunch of voices. So strap yourselves in. Here we go. Ugh. <sighs> 
And that's that. There's a lot of voices. Your character doesn't talk. It grunts. It groans. It makes those sounds when you get hit, when you hit something. It's an important choice because you're going to be listening to your character quite a lot in that sense. You're going to be doing these big attacks and stuff the whole time. It's something you should definitely think about, you know? It's something you should definitely think about. Uh, I didn't mean to open this now. <laughs> this was actually for later. But um, I, I, basically, voice is important. Uh, but, you know... It's, it's, it's with the amount of choices that they have, there's definitely something for everyone. Finally, uh, before we do the randomization, your default armor. Uh, they'll mention here that there's a new set that's called the Guardian A. Uh, it's uh, available as the default armor. It's recommended because it gives you a good starting, a strong starting point. Uh, when Monster Hunter World first came out, then they only had these basic ones, uh, which were a little weaker, quote unquote. Uh, the Guardian set is a lot stronger, but you can start with uh, leather. You can start with Chainmail, Origin, and Guardian. Or you can start naked, because why not? Uh, that's also a possibility. So yeah, I, again, recommended Guardian set is, is really good. That's a, It's a good set to start on. But with that done, uh, we are going to jump into the randomization. And then after that, I'll show you what that menu was that I just opened accidentally by pressing Control. <laughs> <laughs> but but let's do randomize first. This is actually the fun part. Uh, you will notice that there's a lot that you can do. And the randomization system is fantastic. Uh, it, it really does give you a good look at some of the cool characters you can make here. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Some, <laughs> some of these characters, they are over this whole thing before they even start. It's great. It's really great. <laughs> and they and they go all out with it, right? They don't hold back with the colors. Uh, they don't hold back with some of the choices that they make. You can see that it's actually randomizing everything. And I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> some of these are fantastic. Some a uh, little terrifying, not so much fantastic. Uh, but yeah, you can make a lot of stuff. You can make an old looking character, a young looking character, a cool looking character, a crazy looking character. Uh, everything here, everything's available. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. Okay, and with that done, you can actually open this menu over here that I'll go back to right now. This is a recap. Uh, it's a list of the stuff that you've chosen and you can scroll through it and it'll be basically give you a way to share the character that you've created. Uh, you can do that with any character. You just make it, you come over here, then someone can check these options out. They can copy them for themselves, uh, make the character that you made. It's nice. It's a good way to share characters. I do wish that more character creators did this. Uh, obviously, you need some good stuff in your character creator and you need like a lot of options for that to even be worth it, but... Hey, it's nice to have. That brings us to the end of the male customization. We're going to jump back now and try female. Here we go. Starting with the presets. There are some very nice presets here. The female characters in this game are great. Like, really, really cool. There's a lot you can do with them. Uh, I, I think that the amount of different styles of characters you can make here, fantastic. Again, we're going to randomize at the end. Uh, so these are the presets you can choose between. Nice point to start from. Uh, you can sort of think to yourself, mm, yeah, I want a rounder face, bigger eyes. Take this one. Mm, yeah, darker skin. Uh -huh. Bigger lips. Nice stubby nose. Perfect, perfect. Take that one. Um, yeah, you pick what you want and you get going. We're going to take the default one to start with, as we did with the male. Then we're going to look at the faces. Lots of different faces here. This basically sets the entire mood of what your character is going to look like. It's the, it sets the tone 
of the creation and customization. It's a pretty big deal. This choice. You will notice once again it, it mostly encompasses the jaw, the cheekbones, the cheeks themselves. But there is more to it, obviously. Uh, because as you choose something here and you keep going and you customize the rest of the stuff, it'll all come together to either make or break your style. So yeah, pick the right one. No pressure. Skin. Skin color. You can pretty much do everything. They have presets, obviously. They always have presets that range from light to dark. Uh, but you can go darker than the presets have. You can go lighter than the presets have. And then you can set your wrinkles. I noticed almost immediately when I came through here that the female characters seem to have sort of less of an effect when it comes to the age. Like, even if you set the wrinkles and, and stuff to max, they don't look like they are as old as the male characters, which is kind of weird. But I love it because, yeah, man, it's it feels true to me. <laughs> it's, it's tough getting old. Anyway, uh, you can sort of do what you want with any of this. Let's just take a skin color that's sort of somewhere in the middle. Uh, and then we'll set the wrinkles down, just so that we don't have any conflicts coming up. And then let's look at the hairstyles. So, over here. I mentioned before that a lot of the styles are crossed over between the males and the females. I can't say for sure if all of them are on both, but there are a lot that are shared. And some of them are half modular like this, where they have like one or two different styles that sort of link together. I like these messy hairstyles. Short and messy is cool. And yeah, like nice hairstyles. Uh, I like the hair physics. I mentioned that before as well. I like the textures and stuff that they use. I think it looks great. And I like the accessories. Like these styles are actually nice. Generally, I'm not one to pick a hairstyle with like stuff in the hair. Uh, but Monster Hunter, yeah, it's a it's a why not, you know, it looks alright. I mentioned as well that I think some of these styles are sort of, I'm not going to say they 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 only DLC styles. I think some of these styles are unlocked through free DLC, and some of them are unlocked by just playing the game. And there might be one or two that you don't sort of own if you're just jumping in for the first time here. But don't worry, the ones that I have here are not paid. I didn't pay for any of them, right? Shorter ones. There we go. I'm trying to decide if the male hairstyles are all here as well. I would say they, they must be. It looks like they are. Although the one that I'm not seeing right now is the one with the big sideburns. Ah, there it is at the bottom. Okay, so they're all here. It looks like they're all shared between them. That's good. That's good. Equality for all. No reason not to. I think these two specifically are from playing the game and, and progressing the story. These are hairstyles of well-known characters that you meet throughout your gameplay. Some decent afros here. They look good. And then some nice short styles. Yeah. Alright. Let's pick something that's not in the face. Let's take this again. Let's take that one. You can change the color. The hair colors in this game, fantastical. Actually, most of the color choices are fantastic. The skin is obviously a little boring. Because, uh, I mean, it's like a based-in-reality skin tone. The hair... You can just do whatever you want with it. They don't hold you back. Uh, you can set the saturation and the brightness high, and then you can just scroll through here, and you can pick whatever tickles your fancy. It is literally any color under the rainbow. You can pick any color here. Uh, I do wish that they had included the glossiness and, like, uh, metallic sheens and all these different options like they do on, like, the tattoos and makeup. But this is fine. This is nice. Uh, I really like the reds, I like the yellows, the blues and greens, on I basically everything. It actually it actually all looks good. It all looks really good. Uh, and then there are presets, obviously, as well. So you can sort of pick what you want here. Now, we're going to go with the plain color for now, uh, just because. I don't want it to distract us from the rest of the customization. Eyebrows. Some decent choices here for eyebrows. 
You get to first change the eyebrows hair itself. And then you will see that like at, on certain ones, like this one, for instance, it doesn't follow the brow. Uh, and you'll see why in just a moment. Because you get to pick the one. And then you get to customize the brow type, which will change the, the shape of the actual brow. Like the bones, you know? And it changes your, your forehead and everything else. It sort of has an effect on everything. This is one of those options that you're going to want to look at from all angles. Just because it has a pretty big effect. And yeah, it's just kind of important. Colors, you can do the same as with the hair. You can just do anything with it. So uh, keep in mind that you can have them synced up by choosing a palette and saving it. Or you can have them different if that is your desire. There are lots of eye types. Eye type drastically affects the way your character looks. Again, it changes the mood and feel of your character. The personality, I guess you could call it, of your character. Big impact. Like, massive impact. And you have a bit more control over it. So if you pick one of the styles here for your eyes, then you will see there are some options and some sliders down below. And if you jump into those options and sliders, you can modify them all further. So you pick one. These are kind of crazy looking. <laughs> then you can set the position. I do sort of wish that they had a size slider, uh, but it's whatever. And then you can change your eyelash length. Yeah, all right. Let's leave it on long. And then you can change the eye color. I like the eye colors. Uh, if you if you set the brightness and saturation all the way down, then the eyes are like basically black pits. If you set it up, then it adopts the color that you select quite vibrantly. Good colors. Nice colors. If you zoom out, you'll see that you can notice the color even from a distance. It's very cool. Very cool. And along with that, you can pick one of them and set the saturation down. Uh, then you get like a white. And you can make it a slightly paler color by just increasing the saturation a bit. You can mess around with it and you can sort of get what you're looking for. Let's take white eyes for now. There you go. A lot of choices once again. Noses. There are some noses. These are... <sighs> you know... They're a difficult one again. Like, you have to look at this from all the different angles. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to I'm going to leave it at this angle and you can sort of see. But I just want to say that if I, if I move it around to, like, the front and you look at it here, it's also going to sort of give you a different picture because sometimes the nostrils are wider. Sometimes the bridge of the nose is like sort of thinner and stuff. It, it makes a difference. You should look at it from all angles before you commit to something uh, because the nose, once again, is a pretty impactful choice. There are a lot of different noses here. You know? Let's take this one. Then you can set the height. I'm going to leave it in the middle. Yeah, I'm already changing this character to something else. Mouth. Once again, pretty impactful. It can it can completely alter the look and feel of your character. In that you can have like a mouth that hangs open the whole time. Where your character is like in a constant state of... Duh. <laughs> or, or you can have a, a, a more curious mouth. Or, or a more frightened mouth. and Like disgusted. Uh, happy sad all the different emotions are covered here then you can set the position of the mouth as well all right there you go uh you... where are we facial hair i'm happy to report that ladies can have beards they do not limit you in any way there are some decent facial hair options here because why not i like how the facial hair looks and I welcome it. Because you can customize your character after you've created it here, uh, it's kind of cool, you know, that you can put them on a female if you'd like. It's, it's whatever. You can change the color. So if you want a big beard and you want to make it a nice bright color, uh, you are more than welcome to do so. More than welcome. You can do whatever you like with it. For the purposes of 
this video and the rest of the customization. I'll leave the beard off for now, but just know that you can put it on. It's important. Makeup. This is a pretty big and or impactful section. Now, you're going to notice as I scroll through here, it highlights the piece. That's where the makeup is applied. As you can see there, it's like if you select that one, it highlights and then you can see the makeup. It highlights, then you can see the makeup, it highlights, and so on and so forth. A lot of eye makeup here, but then you also get the lips. And keep in mind, there are a bunch of more options down here that we can look at, and I will show you in just a moment. There are some scars. And on the scars, you have to actually do the, the colors and, and stuff yourself. So keep in mind that they don't give you like the proper scar color right off the bat. This is all the same on male and female. It's all shared. You get the same options, but you can do whatever you want with it. Very important. You can do whatever you want because you can actually pick one of them and then you can set the position. You can't set the size, which, well, I mean, not the size, the rotation. You can set the size, but it's not really as much as you'd think it would be. Uh, you can't set the rotation, which is a bit sad, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. Um, let's just reset these quickly. Hold on. There you go. There you go. You're going to want to move some of these around. Like, sometimes I guess they'll look better if you can put them in different locations, make them bigger or smaller. Uh, there's a lot of choices. There's some newer stuff here that I hadn't seen before. And uh, a lot of the stuff that was here in the base game. But there's a lot of cool choices. Uh, if we take one of them maybe. And then I'll show you quickly what, what you can actually customize. So as an example. As I mentioned you can move them around a little bit. You can set the size up and down. Left and right. And then on the colors. There's actually a huge amount to change. Firstly you pick your color. Alright, so let's take a, I don't know, like a ready color. Here we go. Let's actually take this side there. Then you can set the saturation. Okay. Brightness. Yes. Cool. Then you can set how glossy it is. As you can see, it changes quite a lot. You can set how metallic it is. The glossy and the metallic, in my opinion, should go together. As you can see there, they sort of make for a pretty cool effect if you do. You can set the transparency which is important for things like scars and beauty marks and stuff, I guess. Then, the luminescence, which is, yeah, let me just say it's a big deal. You can do a lot with the luminescence high. Uh, it, it really glows. I've seen some fantastic characters with stuff like this. So if I pick, like, as an example, I'll show you what I can do. Let's say a, a nice green luminescence, right? Like, let's go for the, the nice green color over here. It's a bit difficult to get the color I want, but let's go for, like, that one, right? Then, if I take something like this cool cyberpunk thing. Like, that's kind of sick, right? Then you can mix and match. So, all these options that I just showed you, I can confirm. Then I can go to makeup too. And I can decide, yeah, I want some lipstick. I want it black. So, I take the lipstick. I make it black. I take this down, down. Uh, transparency, max it. It's a little difficult. I don't think I've even really seen the color on my character's lips there. Um... What did I set that's not right? Let's just check. Oh, the transparency is the wrong side. There we go. Okay. So we make it metallic. We make it glossy because that's cool. Uh, we don't do the luminescence because that might mess with it. Uh, saturation doesn't matter. We got black chosen anyway. Uh, we confirm. So we got black lips. And then in the third slot, uh, we can choose something like eyeshadow. Let's take this one. Let's put some black eyeshadow on. Uh, and then let's set the transparency down. Glossy, metallic. And we call it a day. That's something pretty interesting, right? Like, look, okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trailblazing. I'm not making something... I just took the lips off for some reason. <laughs> not making something, like, super unique or whatever. Um, but it's it's kind of cool. Uh, you know, you can you can do some fun stuff with it. I'm not sure how I took the lips off here. But um, it's nice. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of, of, of the amount that they give you with it. All right? There you go. I put, I put it back. Okay. So I'm going to take it off quickly as we continue here. And we will just go back to the first one. And if you want to mess around with it, there is plenty of potential for good stuff. Plenty. 
you'll see some of the good stuff when you randomize but as much as i like the randomization system i do feel like there are a few parts that it sort of misses out on like the makeup uh, anyway here we go expressions now this is just a look at how your character might potentially look in like a cutscene or whatever all right it's nice and fluid. I think that this game has great animations on the faces and stuff like that. Oftentimes people think that the, the lip syncing is terrible and stuff like that. And it doesn't feel right when characters are talking and whatever. Uh, but that's mostly because it was actually first recorded in like Japanese or something. And then they dubbed it for, for English. Uh, so the, the animations and stuff look better if you set it on Japanese. But the faces, yeah, they're capable of some pretty fantastic uh, <laughs> expressions. I like it. Again, just to look at what your character can do, basically. Clothing. Just the style of clothing you have. Uh, there are two different choices, and then different, basically, colors you can choose. Uh, it just sort of chooses which colors you can customize. So if I pick this one, I can go in here, and I can pick any old color that I want. Uh, you can pick the hue and saturation. So, like, if you, if you want to, you can make it, like, a bright red, you know? You can make it, like, a bright white, a black, uh, whatever you desire. All the colors under the rainbow uh, and you can see which colors get changed by switching between it here as you can see it's cool it's cool this is your underclothes by the way it's basically what you're wearing underneath your armor you don't often see your character like this but it is something that you're going to want to customize just because now we're going to do the voices and then we'll move on to the armor i am going to play through all the voices samples there are quite a few to choose from here uh, so buckle up strap in let's do this That's it. Your voice is a pretty impactful choice. You're going to hear your character grunting and groaning a lot. There's no actual speech from your character. Your character doesn't talk during cutscenes or anything like that. But it is still a pretty important choice. Uh, you, you're going to hear your character a lot. So pay attention to the voices. Pick the one you want. Make sure you're happy with it. Now, default armor. This is your choice of starting armor. They recommend starting with the Guardian set uh, because it is better. It is stronger, it'll give you a nice like sort of head start in terms of power and you'll be able to start fighting a little easier. Uh, but these sets, they're pretty cool as well, they look great. These are the basic ones uh, and then I think, uh, you know, obviously this one's sort of one that they released afterwards that's stronger. Uh, you can pick whichever one you want. Uh, it's not a big choice in terms of like how long it'll last. You will very quickly replace the armor. It's kind of cool to see the amount of detail they put into the armor, though. It's really fantastic. Like, there's so much going on here on all the armor. It's great. It's great. And then you can pick no armor if you'd like. Now, that brings us to the randomization. Let's do it. We're going to randomize female a little bit. Here we go. You will notice, as I mentioned, that the makeup is not being applied which in my opinion it makes sense but it kind of sucks there are a lot of cool characters that you'll see here you'll jump between these and you will see like great examples of what's possible in the character creation system but the truly unique stuff will only come from people who actually learn to use the makeup uh, you see that there's no facial hair obviously on the females by default uh, but honestly the truly unique stuff you're going to want to put makeup on and and do some fancy nonsense with that uh, it's highly possible and, uh, you know, it's highly plausible to make something super, super cool looking. 
And you can really see right here that there are some super nice looking characters. Uh, some kind of weird looking characters. Uh, but the whole the whole thing is fantastic. Like the whole character creation system, in my opinion, is just great. Like there's so much potential here for cool stuff. And then on top of that, uh, you know, for customization purposes, there's so much you get to do after. Uh, there is a reason this is called Fashion Hunter World. Like a lot of the end game is all about looking cool. <laughs> so uh, just know that it'll be something that you actually work on from the start till the very end. There you go. A lot of cool characters to choose from here. I like it a lot. The final thing I want to show you is that you can press control on here and you can show a list of all your options. Uh, you can sort of share your character. There is uh, a whole bunch here. All the options are available and you can share this on the internet or wherever you'd like. Uh, and then other people can make the same character as you. If you make something that you're very proud of, you can share it. I like this. I always say that it's nice when uh, they, they allow you to easily share everything with just you know one or two screenshots three in this case but oftentimes games don't really have enough settings to to warrant something like this in this case yeah they do they absolutely do right so now that we've done the male and female we are going to be jumping into i guess the part that a lot of people are super excited about and always happy to see the palico customization you get to make yourself a little helper I completely forgot that this even existed. So I went through most of the recording of this video thinking that it was just the male and female. And I didn't even remember that I made a cute little kitty to follow me around and help me out. The Pelicos, they basically help you. They support you in battle. They collect things for you uh, during quests and stuff. They'll have special interactions. I, I like them a lot. You can make some pretty cute kitties. So we're going to jump in now. And we are going to have a look at what's available, starting with presets. You don't get to pick male or female on these. You just make the palico, which is great. That's fantastic. Uh, and then you can do quite a lot of cool stuff with it. Quite a lot of cute stuff with it, as you can see. Oh, it's so nice. It is absolutely perfect. I can't remember what I made, but man, all of these are great. Like, I'd be happy with any of them. And you can do some really cute stuff. Look at that. Man, it looks like a lynx or something. And for those interested in randomization, we will do that at the end of the Pelico customization. We're going to go with the basic one for now. And we will just see how the customization works. Outline. It's basically your face shape, I guess you could call it. Let's take the little whiskers. It looks cute fur so there's a lot of actual customization to be done here and there's a lot of back and forth that you'd have to do to see all the different options in action so you get to set firstly i'm going to zoom in to show you the fur length right it basically sets how fluffy your 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 kitty looks and i i feel like personally somewhere in between looks the best uh, it looks a little weird when you take all the fur off but you know, when you set it all the way up, it, it kind of looks funny too. Then you can set the thickness. Uh, it it <laughs> once again looks a little weird. I don't know. It, it, it's kind of strange. But yeah, it's basically the density when you when you set this. It's There's thicker fur, uh, thinner fur. And then you can set the length as well. I'm going to put them both somewhere in the middle. Just so it sort of gives you a good look at, at, at both sides, I suppose. And then let's look at the colors. Now, there's, there's a lot here. There is a lot, right? So, as with the customization of your actual hunter, you can do anything with the colors. You can, like, you can go anywhere, right? And then, just know that you will be able to customize the pattern as well. This is just the first set of choices. So, if we want to go for, like, a red red, you can do a red red. Uh, if you want to go for any other color under the rainbow, you can do it. You can make your kitty look absolutely obnoxious, if you like. Uh, for the purposes of the video, I'm going to pick something like... I'll just pick a white here. And then I'll continue. But know, once again, that you can do anything. Now, when you pick the pattern, you'll see here all the different ones that you get to choose between. There's an uh, image of it over here, representation of what it would look like on the body. Or you can just look at the, at the actual model. You will notice that some of them, you need to first choose the different colors... So if you look at the at the colors here, I'll choose a unique one for each of them. So you can sort of see. Uh, let's take that, that, and that. 
There you go. So you have to actually customize every little bit and piece. There's a lot to do here. Just like the actual hunter customization, you can you can be pretty free with your choices. Like if we pick this one as an example, and we choose this final color here, and we check the saturation max, we can take like a super bright color on this, like a red. Uh, and then on this one, you can take like a, a, a black or something, confirm. Uh, and then on the base one, you can do something entirely different on the fur. Uh, so if you apply that and you come back to the fur, it's kind of crazy, right? You can, you can like really do anything you want. You can make your cat look like a damn clown if you'd like. <laughs> it's, a, it's a slippery slope. Like, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I have it in me to make something like absolutely beautiful just off the bat. I, I love that there is so much, you know, but I'm also a little frightened because it's, it's dangerous messing with all these different colors. Like that looks kind of more natural, right? Let's leave it like that for now. Let's zoom in on the eyes and let's move on to the next part here. Just know that you can do a lot with it, right? The eyes, probably the most impactful part. Uh, and you actually get to change the pupils here, unlike with the hunters. Most impactful because it again sets the mood, you know? Like, that's a kitty you're going to pet. That's one you're going to want to stay away from. <laughs> you know? Lots of different options. That's, and that's just too cute. Right there. Bigger, smaller. Wider. Narrower. Let's take the really big ones and then let's look at the pupils quickly. Yeah. It's nice. Then you change the color. I'm going to change the color on both now. Just know that you can do them individually. Uh, there are presets to choose between. And then you can, as always, choose to just slide this. Quite nice. Lots of detail in the eyes. Uh, let's take a bright color and see what it looks like. Let's go for like a pink or something. Here we go. And then we'll confirm and we'll look on the other types. Not as bright as the human customization, but still pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. There you go. Ears. Quite important as well. You can pick between ears that look like cat ears, ears that look like doggy ears, teddy bear ears. Uh, mostly cat ears though. I mean, I, I see these as like teddy bear ears, right? I don't know. I mean, I don't know my cat breed, so it's kind of a difficult one for me to call. But like, yeah. Lots of different choices. These sort of look like bunny ears. Or like fox ears, right? I like those. I would probably pick something like that. Tail? <laughs> I like the crooked one. I think it has a lot of personality. Or the big fluffy one. Yeah, I like this too. Clothing. You get to choose the color. Much like you would with your character. The clothing is... It's an important choice, but it is one that you can alter later. However, you're going to be putting armor on your Palico pretty early on, so it's not quite as important as, uh, you know, some of the other choices, basically. Uh, again, as with the other color options, you can do whatever you want with it. You can make it bright. You can make it dark. You can make it anything you like. Then, the voice. Some decent choices there. I mean, it covers all the bases, right? You can sort of have any pitch you want on any of the types of uh, of meows, and it's cool. It's quite cool. Then you can pick uh, whether you want the default armor or nothing at all. I recommend taking the armor because it's damn cute. <laughs> like, how, how could you not pick that? How could you not pick that? Then as your final option, you get to uh, choose the name of the Palico. But before we are done here, we are actually going to go back and we are going to randomize. 
because that's part of the fun. And with this, the randomization is actually very impressive. There's a lot of stuff. You will see some of the cool options available, uh, some of the cool stuff that you could possibly make here. And it doesn't hold back with the colors, uh, with the, uh, you know, the patterns and all that stuff. You see basically all of it. It's also changing everything to do with the fur, the length and the density and stuff. Yeah, it's fantastic. This character creation system and this Palico creation system is just awesome. I like that Monster Hunter also covered their bases with the cat lovers getting this and then the dog lovers getting to make a dog in Monster Hunter Rise. <laughs> it's great. It's great. It's great. They really did cover all their bases. But yeah, fantastic options here. Lots of cool stuff you can do. And uh, that, my friends, brings us to the end of this video. We are done. Monster Hunter World. What a fantastic character creation system. It's awesome. There's so much cool stuff in here. Uh, you can make so many cool characters. And then the customization doesn't just stop here. It keeps going into the game. The game just keeps giving you more and more cool stuff that you can throw onto your character, that you can customize your character with, change your character with, uh, that you can look unique with. I love it. Uh, I have nothing negative to say about it. I did look at Monster Hunter Rise a little while back. And I feel like they, they offer different things in terms of customization with a slightly more cartoony style in Rise versus a slightly more realistic style in this. Uh, I like it a lot. I have absolutely nothing negative to say. I even, in this game's case, completely understand why they don't let you change the body type because of the amount of detail that they put in the armor. That's the reason you can't change the body. So I won't even complain about not being able to change the body type. I wouldn't even be able to complain. The one thing I could say is they could offer a muscle slider, which keeps the body type the same, the shape the same, but changes the definition of the muscles. That's the only thing I can think of. But other than that, fantastic. Absolutely amazing. It's like, I would say the gold standard for what you'd call a preset picker. Because you are doing some sliding. You are sort of fine-tuning some stuff but for the most part you're picking a bunch of different presets putting them together making something fantastic i like it it's a good system so if you'd like to tell me your experiences the monster hunter have you been playing uh, i know that a lot of people have a long and storied history of monster hunter playing the older games on the uh, uh, handheld systems and stuff like that uh, but if you've played any of these games let me know if you played a bunch of Monster Hunter, let me know. I have 300 hours in this game. I enjoyed it tremendously. I love exploring in it. I love just taking my time, immersing myself in the world. It's a great game. And if you have any cool uh, tips for the character creation and customization, I'd love to hear that too. But with all of that said, check back here soon for more. Give this one a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. Most importantly though, happy hunting those monsters. Happy that. <laughs>